Welcome to Ghana, a nation on the path of transformation, where education is evolving to meet the demands of tomorrow. In an era defined by technology, science and innovation, the government of Ghana has embarked on an ambitious journey, bringing STEM or science, technology, engineering and mathematics education to the forefront of national priorities. Today, we dive deep into Ghana's groundbreaking STEM education initiative, exploring how it is designed to empower the youth, foster innovation, and drive socio-economic progress. We'll look at new STEM centers, scholarships, and programs, and hear from experts, teachers, and students whose lives are already being changed by this movement. The Ghana government has recognized that the future lies in developing a workforce equipped with skills in STEM fields. Globally, we're seeing the demand for these skills rise, and Ghana is positioning itself to lead in Africa's digital future. So how is Ghana making STEM education accessible to every child across the nation? At its core, STEM education isn't just about learning technical skills. It's about cultivating a problem-solving mindset, encouraging analytical thinking, and preparing students for a world where technology touches every aspect of life. The Ghanaian government's commitment to STEM aims to bridge the skills gap, giving students the tools they need to compete on the global stage. For students in underserved communities, these opportunities mean access to once unimaginable resources. Imagine a young student in Kumasi or Tamale learning robotics, coding, or scientific research, gaining the confidence and skill set to dream of careers in technology, medicine, engineering, and beyond. So, what is the government's vision for STEM? It goes beyond simply adding computers to classrooms. The STEM initiative is about building specialized STEM centers, introducing modern curricula focused on practical applications, and offering scholarships that will encourage students to pursue STEM careers. This movement is also about inclusivity, ensuring young girls, underrepresented communities and rural areas have the same access to quality education. Education Minister Dr. Yor Adutwum stated, we want to make sure that Ghana's youth are not left behind. The future is in technology, and we are preparing our students for that future. With a vision to have at least one well-equipped STEM school in every region, this initiative isn't just reform. It's a reimagining of what education can do for a nation. A major highlight of the initiative is the construction of dedicated STEM centers across the country. These centers come with state-of-the-art facilities, such as labs for robotics, coding, engineering, and environmental science. With these centers, students can explore scientific concepts through hands-on experiments, bringing theories to life and fostering a passion for learning. This infrastructure isn't just about buildings. It's about creating an environment where students can experiment, collaborate, and innovate. Each center is designed to inspire young minds, equipping them with skills that will empower them to solve real-world problems and prepare them for the workforce of tomorrow. Ghana's STEM initiative also addresses financial barriers. Scholarships are now available to high-achieving students from diverse backgrounds who wish to pursue studies in STEM fields. These scholarships reduce the financial burden on families, allowing students from every economic background to aspire to careers in fields like engineering, healthcare, data science, and technology. By eliminating these barriers, the government is working to ensure that talent and passion, not finances, determine the success of Ghana's youth in the STEM fields. One of the most transformative aspects of the STEM education initiative is curriculum development. The government has collaborated with education experts to introduce a STEM curriculum that encourages creativity, innovation, and problem solving. Teachers are also receiving specialized training to guide students through this modernized curriculum effectively. By equipping educators with tools and knowledge, they can inspire and mentor the next generation of Ghanaian innovators. These investments in teacher training are crucial because they ensure that every student, no matter where they are in Ghana, receives a high-quality STEM education. The STEM initiative isn't just an educational policy, it's a long-term investment in Ghana's future. By fostering a generation skilled in science, technology, engineering and mathematics, Ghana is creating a workforce ready to drive innovation attract global investment, and solve critical issues like health, environmental challenges, and infrastructure development. 
Imagine a Ghana where local technology companies thrive, healthcare innovations improve lives, and engineers design sustainable solutions to pressing problems. This vision is at the heart of the government's STEM initiative, where each student's success contributes to the nation's progress. The journey has just begun, but the impact is already visible. Ghana's STEM education initiative is more than a government program. It's a movement that empowers the youth, transforms communities and builds a brighter, more prosperous future for all. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe to stay updated on Ghana's journey toward educational excellence and innovation.